Right, hi guys, uh, back again uh, to talk to you a little bit about trainers um, in terms of those of you that are looking to start running. Uh, now, unfortunately, with trainers, it's not a case of, of one trainer is the right trainer for everyone. So unfortunately, I can't offer any miracle uh, suggestions here, but I can hopefully help you to unpick some sensible suggestions. Uh, now, norm normally, um, when we can get to shops and stuff, I would normally suggest that if you're new to running um, or if you've got an injury, uh, that it's probably worth worthwhile going to a running shop where they can look at you run on a treadmill and then um, and then and then actually make an assessment and recommend a certain type of trainer uh, because um, some some brands and stuff feel uh, good to some people and, and not good to other people so um, unfortunately obviously you can't do that at the moment so if you're really unsure once I've kind of talked you through some of the key steps uh, then it might be worth um, booking an appointment um, with a physio because there are certain tests that we could do um, which would help to point you in the right direction if you're really unsure now the first point to make is that it's really important that when you're starting to run that you're trying to run in proper running trainers so that doesn't mean tennis shoes, uh, uh, fashion trainers or anything like that, they need to be proper running trainers. There's loads of good brands out there, the main sort of run brands that you'll come across um, are Saucony, Mizuno, Brooks, uh, Hoka, Adidas and Nike really, that's kind of the main ones. Um, but then there's a lot of variation between that. One of the big things that, that people um, often ask is, um, you know, and what people are kind of drawn towards is your barefoot running shoes. Um, in, in a conditioned and um, in fit and strong uh, runner, then barefoot running shoes are absolutely um, fine and, you know, you shouldn't have any problems with those. Although it should be noted that if you're changing from a normal trainer uh, to a barefoot running style, that needs to be progressive, but that's a whole nother vlog in itself. But so for beginners, I would try to avoid um, the barefoot running styles. So what you want to be looking for in a trainer, and you'll see this on on um, on the stuff when if you read the descriptions, is you you want you want to be looking at the heel drop. Now what this means. Um, is the difference between the amount of padding at the back and the front of the trainer. So on something like this trainer, which is the Brooks Launch, which is what I run in, um, you've got a 12 millimeter drop. So that means the difference between the heel and the toe is 12 millimeters, as opposed to the Hokers, um, and I think all of their trainers are, um, are certainly um, five millimeters or less. So that means your foot is in a flatter position as you're running. Now, you know, what does that mean? Basically, as, you, as you're running um, with a slightly um, lifted heel um, what that does is it helps to to offset and, and support the Achilles and the calf so it puts less pressure through the Achilles and calf as you're running so it will just mean if you're new to running that you're less likely to pick up some of, of, of those uh, little niggles at the beginning the other thing to be thinking about and looking for is whether you get a neutral or a, or an anti-pronation trainer. And if you're not sure of what you've got, the best place to do is, is look if you've got current trainers and see if there is a shaded in block on this part of the trainer. So these are a neutral trainer and as you can see, there's no difference in the, in the foam. And if you have a bit of a poke around, it all feels about the same sort of density. An anti-pronation trainer will have a block. Sometimes it's just a small section and sometimes it's the whole of the section. And that's obviously dependent on how much support there is. Um, but there's a block of sort of thicker or denser th foam which allows a bit of support through the foot. Um, so for those of you that are, are really new to running or had knee problems, sometimes having a, an anti-pronation trainer is, is the way forward because that will help to support, support the foot uh, um, a little bit more. Now that's obviously uh, not necessarily a decision that you that you might be comfortable making on your own. So like I said, that's something that you can think about um, in terms of contacting a physio. Uh, but the important thing, first of all, is that you're, um, is you're getting yourself a decent run trainer um, and ideally something with um, a minimum of a 10 to 12 uh, millimeter heel drop. Um, and there's lots of good brands um, out on the market that will, will offer you that. Um, so tune back in tomorrow. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about some foot exercises and some strengthening exercises you can do to get you conditioned for running. Um, so I look forward to seeing you then.